राजीव मेहरोत्रा पब्लिक सर्विस ब्रॉडकास्टिंग ट्रस्ट जो कि दो फिल्मों के निर्माता हैं सर्वश्रेष्ठ शैक्षिक फिल्म बेस्ट एजुकेशनल फिल्म और ड्रॉप ऑफ सनशाइन व सामाजिक मुद्दों पर सर्वश्रेष्ठ फिल्म बेस्ट फिल्म ऑन सोशल इश्यूज का संयुक्त पुरस्कार माइंडस्केप्स ऑफ लव एंड लॉन्गिंग पुरस्कार ग्रहण करेंगे राजीव मेहरोत्रा इनके लिए दो रजत कमल इनका ये उन्नीसवा एवं बीसवा पुरस्कार है Congratulations Raju on uh, actually making documentary making so beautiful and bringing it to the forefront because to see documentaries being awarded is really wonderful and you've had a long and deep relationship with documentaries tell us a bit about that, tell us a bit about that. <laughs> well you know i've been privileged to work with the public service broadcasting trust and we've had a wonderful 10 year long partnership uh, with doordarshan who uh, support us financially mm -hmm. uh, and carry our films and it has been a wonderful 10 years because uh, during this period we have made 450 independent documentary films wow. okay. and um by 350 different filmmakers so our aspiration has been to increase and enlarge the constituency of filmmakers and about 50 60% of them are first time filmmakers Uh, so that's that many people who have come into the profession we've also been very lucky to have a lot of critical acclaim uh, i think we're around 28 29 about 30 national awards during this period and this year itself we have got four uh, national awards for our films and we've had uh, you know i could go on 125 you know awards in india and abroad and 450 of these films Uh, have been screened at festivals in India and the rest of the world uh, so it's it's been a very satisfying gratifying challenging process and uh, having said that um it is also frustrating that um there aren't enough dissemination avenues uh, for documentary films to be seen and in many ways by their very nature uh, they tend to reach out to more uh, I mean I hate to use the word more elite discriminating uh, audiences and um you know we have tried um, what we describe as the democratization of independent filmmaking so there are these two key words democratization and independent what do we mean by that and we mean that in this cacophony of uh, commercially driven television or and I sort of you know say this on durdashan with a little hesitation that uh, or television managed and influenced by the state it is important and imperative in a democracy that there is an independent voice in the electronic media and i think that we are grateful to the government we're grateful to durdashan for creating this space and of these 450 odd films that we have made i, I it, it gives me gives us great joy to be able to say that not once uh, has the content the nature of it the point of view been dictated to us and i'm glad you state that up front because it's really encouraging to know that uh, freedom gets deep respect it is deeply respected and there is you're right there is a bias in the minds of people but to know that the government is involved in this but do you think there are enough platforms for young people to be able to express themselves through short films and be supported other than PSPT well unfortunately not and i think that again we you know that one of the 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 achievements of the public private partnership that we have is one of the great deterrents for independent filmmakers uh, is say when you're dealing working with the government other than with PSPT mm -hmm. uh, is that you're required to say submit a bank guarantee now where does a young filmmaker get a bank guarantee against which he can get money and i think we have demonstrated that if you exclude the middlemen you exclude the touts you exclude production companies and you work directly with the creative person or filmmaker we have not had a single recalcitrant filmmaker in 10 years nobody has disappeared uh, with the money sometimes they've taken a little longer than they might otherwise but everybody has delivered and i think that i i, I mean i i i i would i would be failing terribly if i didn't acknowledge that we have a very uh, wonderful distinguished board of trustees 
you know, Adur Gopala Krishnan is our chairperson, we have Mrinal Sen, we have Sham Banigal, we have Fali Nariman, we have Sharmila Tagore, Sunita Narayan, Aruna Vasudev. And I think that who they are and what they do and what they represent uh, has also been of, uh, of, of great value to us, you know, apart from the direction, the advice and the mentoring that, you know, as a managing trustee I receive from them. I think they also lend us uh, a credibility, uh, enable us to try and carve this independent space. And uh, awards at a forum like this is nothing else but validation. Well, it is. I mean, I have to say we're deeply grateful, uh, you know, f you know, for these awards. But you know, at the same time, that uh, we're not obsessed with awards, and we feel that uh, one of the one of our achievements, in a sense, is that we encourage filmmakers to take risks, and we are comfortable with their failure. Uh, so we have maybe 15, 20 percent of our films which don't work. But unless we can encourage them to take the risk and to uh, explore new avenues, new narrative structures, new subjects, that we will fall into the same predictable um, format. So failure. Yeah, you know, so that's, that's a very important element uh, of this process. And I'm also thankful that, uh, you know, ultimately those failures are also produced with public money, mm -hmm. that, uh, that we're able to create the space for it. Because unless you do that, you can't break new ground. And so, you know, our films are celebrated at the best festivals around the world, from Yamagata, Berlin, Rotterdam, you know, you name it. And I think it is this aspect that we are a, a rare funding agency that uh, is, is accepting a failure and not just accepting of it, we are also nurturing of the filmmaker who fails. And so our yardstick is honest effort. So the person has really tried and, and then he fails, you know, we, we try and give him another film so that, you know, he doesn't lose his self-confidence and can carry on uh, with what he's exploring. And I think this trust is so critical. Uh, You've just switched sides, you know, you were a part of the jury and now you're receiving the award, you know. <laughs> uh, how does this feel? Well, you know, I was chairman of the jury 10 years ago, uh, the, you know, the 50th anniversary uh, national awards. And uh, I thought that having been on the jury, I had a sense of what the jury looks for. But I have to tell you, it's completely unpredictable. And, uh, you know, very often there are films that, you know, we think are brilliant and the jury doesn't think so. And I think that every jury uh, brings to it uh, their own preferences and their own tastes. And uh, so, I mean, while we celebrate this, and it certainly, I have to say, has a very utilitarian aspect to it, that, you know, so long as we keep getting awards and recognition, it's easier for us to raise money. Uh, but I think that, uh, I mean, you know, of course, for our filmmakers, and, and this year we're delighted, uh, you know, there are, uh, there's, you know, there's this wonderful uh, filmmaker from uh, Product of Jamia, uh, Iram, and she's a first-time filmmaker, best director, best editing. And so that's very exciting wow. for us, and, and obviously, you know, the award is, is a tremendous boost uh, to her career, to her self-confidence, and that's the kind of thing we're really looking for, because the amount of money we're able to pay per film by international standards is very modest. You know, five lakhs, six lakhs is about $10,000. And, you know, nobody in, in, in any major international uh, documentary film will touch a film for less than half a million dollars, you know. So this is chicken feed. So when it puts a filmmaker firmly on the road, that is very gratifying uh, to us. And so in that sense, these two senses, the awards are very valuable. But for me to say that, you know, the, the, the awards are a measure of what we do, I'd have to be a little sort of uh, reflective about that. I think it's, it's, it's very well put. And to say that we see filmmaking not as a product-oriented uh, profession or a way to be, but as a process of growth, you know, for every individual. I think that's wonderful. Well, wishing you and your team and all the wonderful lives that you touch many, many more successes, many more awards, and many more theories and stories of growth. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. I sort of always, uh, uh, you know, s believe uh, in, in, in prayer and in, in good motivation and trying to refine our own motivations and that of our filmmakers and, and, and that we can find the space and the money to articulate their passions and ours. And thank you for creating a space for us to talk about it. Thank you for being here. Thank you.